What up, YouTube? It's your boy, B.B. Stasro Hill, back in NCAA 14 with the Townsend Tigers. I think that's the name. Still not good. But, uh, first off, if I do sound different, it is because I adjusted some things and one of the things was my mic. So if I don't sound the same, uh, I'm sorry. Hopefully I sound better with it being a little folded back from my mouth. But last week was a bye week, so I just, you know, completely cut that out because I know that that would be boring to you all. Uh, recruiting, not that much recruiting that has to be done. We just only got 200 points. Um, right now, we're leading the main man who we want, Marcus. I'm not going to try that last name. TJ Bass, we're kind of getting there. We just need to push forward and try to hope that he wants us. Um, yeah, and then some of these people, some of these people, they do... They do want to come to some of them. They don't. I'm not going to get all upset at that. Um, but yeah, so later down, we just got to hope that we can get some more recruiting points so we can invest in some more recruiting. Um, yeah, but I mean, with all that out the way, let's go on and face the 2-2 two and two Ohio Bobcats here at Johnny United Stadium where the, the Tigers going to be facing the Ohio Bobcats. They lost. We're going to kick so we can get ball in the second half. And let's go on and uh, get right into it. Now, remember, since we all playing as an offensive coordinator, we only get to see the offensive side of things. So, defense, unfortunately, did let us down. But, hey, it is all okay. We just got to go down there and score. And, uh-oh. Peter getting out the pocket, throwing a dime to Wilkins, but he fumbled. Oh my gosh. Huge stuff happened on that play. Amazing throw, but a fumble. Wow. <laughs> well, we did have a one play turnover. Well, it was a pretty good play, if I'm going to be honest, but luckily our defense did hold up. Peter was still slinging the ball to Scott, and hey, nice catch for 14 yards. Peter finding, oh, I can't say his last name, but James in. Gets a nice gain of 26, so I really do not think it's that bad right there. As we are going to be coming out, wanting a lead option here for, I think, the third or fourth play on this drive. Oh, nope, guess I misclipped. Okay, inside zone it is. To Terrence, Terrence breaking a tackle. Almost broke two, but gets a nice gain of five. Hugo wanting a play action pass. Uh, nobody's open and Pew just throws the ball out of bounds. Hugo of six seconds left in the first quarter. Can we potentially get something crucial here? I would say. There's a little shovel pass to Wilkins, who does not fumble this time, but is good and gets us a game of 12. Okay, so I do want to inform you all that there will be more Madden content coming out. Um... And I'm going to more, most likely try to do a different style of recording. And uh, that's going to be more of like highlight film stuff. So it's not you all seeing the whole game. If you all want to see the whole game, let me know. But I'm going to try to switch it up into just highlights so I can get more videos out. And uh, they will be quicker for you all. But here we go. Second and ten. Peter dropping back. Peter hits Spencer Wilkins, and there we go. First and ten inside the 20. Let's put some points up on the board. Here 
Here we go. Peter dropping back, looking to pass. Finds P Pondle, Willy Pondle, and I mean, hey, we're at least getting closer with all matters. Here we go. Both teams coming out in the goal line formation. Terrence West gets the ball, haven't heard from him a whole lot, and doesn't get anywhere. Alright, we just need to get three yards, potentially a little bit more to get into the end zone. Uh, here we go with Terrence West in motion. We get the ball right to Jones, and Trey Jones with the touchdown. So our defense did let Ohio go down and score. We do have a little bit over a minute, though, to potentially go down and put up a field goal. But who needs maybe over a minute? Peter going deep. Oh, but he got swatted down. Oh, that could have been a huge play right there. Peter looking for somebody, can't find anybody, needs to get the ball away before potentially giving them two more points. Alright, well, Peter go come out in full verticals again, potentially looking to get a force down, and we may have it. No, it's going to be intercepted, though. And just like that, we do let them score another seven points before the half. Wow. Okay, so we need to at least go down and, uh, well, at this point, it's just score a touchdown. There's nothing else to it. All right, here we go. Hail Mary time. Peter didn't really get the jump that I wanted to in another interception right there. Oh, do you go come down in the goal line set ball goes straight to Terrence West and in the locker room coach had a whole lot to say we may have a quarterback change here if Peter can't perform well he's doing good but we need a little bit better and maybe our backup guy could give us that You go, Tanner Tresking the ball once again, gets the first down and gets a few more yards after that, getting 13 yards on the carry. You go, Peter Atkins. Going deep, finds Kennard and he holds on to the ball. Let's go. Peter saying that he does not want to get bench making big time plays like that. I like to see it. Here we go. We are going to try to hit Joseph on the slant heel. If he can maybe get over. Took him a little bit too long. Peter set his feet. Peter still gets it to Joseph and we have a forcing goal inside of the five.
wow. The fact that Peter was able to get the ball into Joseph's hands. But we are going to want to toss and Terrence Russ is going to get into the end zone. With Ohio going back and scoring once again. Makes it a little bit tougher on us still as we we need our defense to get a stop for us. So we can at least go into overtime. We find a wide open James in the middle of the field for a gain of 28 yards. Hugo with Terrence getting the ball right here. Hole not really big enough though for him to get through and that's just going to be a gain of a yard. Here we go, Peter dropping back. Peter finding a wide open Scott, but he just drops the ball. Come on now. We really need Scott to make that catch there because that was a huge catch would have gotten us the first town and keep keep our drive alive potentially. As we're going to want a screen pass and Taylor Trust breaks the tackle. Taylor Trust trying to get to the first down mogul but just was short. Three yards short. But we need to go for it. We were at a situation where our defense can't stop Ohio's offense, and we need to take it into our own hands. Here we go. With Wilkins, Spencer Wilkins getting the catch there, giving us the first down to keep the change moving. You go one and Corey up offense, but we don't really want a whole lot here. And Peter would, you know, maybe get ready to snap the ball. Here we go. As he does find a wide open Spencer Wilkins who tried to break free, but pretty good catch. Here we go. First and ten in the red zone once again. Let's try to put up seven. Terrence West breaks the tackle, but if only the wide receiver would have blocked one of the outside men instead of the guy who is trailing Terrence, we probably could have gotten in the end zone. Here we go, coming out in goal line formation once again. Terrence Russ is going to get the ball, and Terrence Russ is going to walk into the end zone untouched. And we finally get the stop that we needed from our defense. What comes in, comes at a pretty clutch time in this game. Two minutes left in the game. Ball goes straight to Terrence, and there we go. We get a first down, clock stops, chains move. That's what we need. Here we go. Winning the play action pass here. Nobody's really getting open. Peter takes it for himself, and whoo. Luckily, he did not fumble. Mm, Peter making audibles here. Wait until he finds a play that he likes to potentially split this defense, which he does. 
and he made a correct audible fighting James open down the middle of the field. Here we go. Peter finding a wide open Scott who will get it to the end zone to tie the game if we can get the field goal. I meant the PAT. <laughs> With that, we get the stop that we need, and we have the potential to win the game right here. We got less than a minute to do so, though, but I think that we will be able to do it. With Tanwich running the ball like that, we will always be able to do it. Here we go, dropping back. Finding Scott, and Scott will get out of bounds after the catch to save time on the clock. There we go. Peter is really making a comeback from that first half that he had. What well, wasn't that great, but he's bouncing back really good. Oh, nobody's really open. Peter tries to pump fake. Peter finds Terrence West. And Terrence making moves out there to get us some more yards and then steps out of bounds. Here we go. With us being in field goal position, we all just going to run the ball. To take time off of the clock, and Ohio's not even going to call timeouts. Okay. Well, we will just let the clock run down and then call our timeout. Here we go. With the timeout being called, we are going to watch from the sideline to see if our kicker can nail it in. So we can win the game. Kick is up. And the kick is good and we will win the game against Ohio. Let's check out some of the player stats. Peter Athens. 19 completions for 25 attempts. Not bad. Pretty solid QB rating. Had 389 passing yards, 17 touchdowns, 2 interceptions. Eh. Longest pass, 54 yards, no sacks on the game. We didn't really do that much on the ground. Uh, Terrence West, 9 yards, 44 yards, 2 touchdowns. Uh, Peter Athens, 1 yard, 2 yards. And then uh, Trey Jones had... One attempt for that touchdown, receiving. Spencer Wilkins had another day, as he usually does. Five catches, 115 yards. Unfortunately, he did fumble. What sucked? Uh, James had four catches for 82 yards. Terrence, four receptions, 40, ugh, 47. Scott, three for 84 in that clutch touchdown. Joseph had that one catch for 23 yards. Kennard, 31 yards, and Pounder had seven. Blocking, uh, Eric Pike had one pancake on the day. Defensive-wise, uh, Monty's going to lead our team in tackling. Do we have any sacks? Yes, Ryan DeLeo got a sack. And we did have one interception by Jordan Love. So, <laughs> I think that's funny that that is his name. But, uh, yeah. So, that's the stats for our game.
Well, with that game, uh, we will be sh hosting the Charlotte 49ers, even though it does say UConn. Um, it just, the reason why it's like that is because of, they tried to, you know, put up their teams where they couldn't truly fix the logo, so... That's what that's what we're going to have to work with, and uh, next week we'll be playing the 2-3 in three Charlotte 49ers. But off of that, I hope that you all did enjoy. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one.